Yo, you got a minute? Yo, I got a funny story for you, bro. It's funny, but it's more retarded. But it's funny, but just to show you how these piece of shit rejects uh, run with their fucking sick lies, bro. And they know it's a lie, and they still run with it. And, like, bro, it's the most disturbing, disgusting shit you've ever seen, bro. Fucking, oh, no, let me grab my fucking drink. But, yo, check this out, bro. So, I could talk about this shit because I already did the time for it. You know what I'm saying? It's that same situation with these fools. Those three fools fucking ran off with my money, right? And I went to get it back and then got ugly, right? Anyways, yo, I was on the run. The pigs, these fucks gave the police my phone number, right? So, like, I have a prepaid. I don't, you know what I mean? But this was like 20-something years ago, and I, I couldn't remember. I, oh, yeah, I, I can't remember the case. I couldn't get the tell or something, whatever. I ended up with this bullshit. It was under my brother's name or some shit, and then that's how they got me. They gave the police the phone number, and the phone number was under my brother's name. So the last name, boom, they, the next, you know, my mother calls me. Yo, I got homicide detectives at my house, you know what I mean? So, fucking, anyways. So, next, you know, they called me like two weeks later, private number. Let's see who this is, the pigs. You know, do you want to talk to me, turn yourself in? I don't even say turn yourself in. They're like, hey, well, come talk to us and this and that. And, um, you know, I just ended up, I was just doing 18 months for, or 18, 19 months, 20 months for piece of shit faster that trying to kill me, you know, in my sleep, bro. And I was only out for like a year at that point. So, like, now they got some dead guy. I only died a couple of times. I, like, I don't know what's going on, but, like, shit, I'm not turning myself in. But he, well, now I would, but this was, like, 20-something years ago on the wrong path. And, you know, like, so I was like, fuck that. So I went on the run. Nowadays, like, I don't do none of that. I'll turn myself in and all that shit. But, like I said, this was back in the day. This was when I was on the wrong path. And I wasn't thinking how I'm thinking. Now. But anyways, why is this not so? I'm on the run now. Well, I should tell you how the homie set me up. The homie set me up. I was end up in Barry. Bitch nigga set me up, stole my car, by fuck some pussy on the run. Fuck some pussy on the run on some farm. Some bitches pulled me over in their van. Went to their farm, fucked them on Dunlop Street there, bro. I thought I was the police, bro. Oh, the fucking van, caravan, Dodge caravan, jumped over the curb on the sidewalk, bro. And I turned around, about to cut when the door was opening. And the door opens, I look behind me, expecting to see a bunch of pigs chasing after me. It was like a bunch of bitches. Hey, you want to come for a ride with some drunk girls? I'm like, oh, fuck. All right, you know what I mean? Anyways, why is this now? Yo, bro, so when they fucking, yo, these niggas set me up at the beach, bro, and police pull on Dunlop Street in Barry, bro, P pigs pull out, a hundred pigs pull out out of everywhere, SUVs on horses, on bikes, on motorcycles, on foot, the Dunlop Street was blocked off, road traffic, bro, it looked like some movie shit, you know what I'm saying, it was all for me, you can't make this up, and fucking, um, bitch niggas set me up, bro, like, yo, let's go to the beach, and, you know what I mean, they had the police waiting there for me, so I stayed in Toronto, you know what I'm saying, my nose was now, so, the pigs get me now. This was in Barry. They bring me down. The pigs from Brampton come in, pick me up, and fucking, uh, fucking. They're like, they're like, oh, Paul. So we finally meet. So like, so tell us what really happened. We don't like those niggas. So t that's what they said. But the police and like me, I say nigger all the time. But it doesn't mean a black person. It could be anybody. I'm, you know I mean, I'm from the streets. Niggas were calling me niggers all my life. You know what I mean? And it's just a street thing. It's not a black people thing. But here. Like, you know what I mean? When a regular person that's not in the streets, like the police or this, talks, they talking about black people. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, fucking, they're like, yeah, so, so tell us what really happened. We don't like those niggas. That's what the police told me, bro. So the police know, because those guys are saying, I, like, I try to rob. They make it up story. And the police like, yeah, we don't believe them. So what really happened? I'm like, yo, bro, listen. So I went to go get my money. This shit got ugly. And that's it. I told you, got me here. And I said, oh, so what about the other guy? I'm like, what other guy? And I showed you the story, you know? Anyways, so now I'm in jail now. But yo, the police know the story i'm like oh, bro you know these fools try to play it fast when then you know i went to get my money back and that's you know it got ugly but the police told me they don't believe that they're, they're fucking like good that's why they said fuck those niggas good that's what the police said you cannot make this up i wouldn't make it i don't none of my cap yo if you say cap bro you're a fucking loser you use any of these fucking you're a clown first of all second of all everything i say is true I was, I was even lying when I was on the wrong path. Never mind when I'm with the Lord. You guys are stupid. But anyways, why is this now? So the pigs know those guys were lying. You know what I mean? So they know. And the pigs talk with the district attorney, the judge. So like, bro, it's not like nobody knew what was going on. Like these, anyways. And now the district attorney comes on the bill and saying, I run around killing people for fun. And I'm just some strangers attacking strangers in the streets. When the, when like, they, the fucking pigs knew like, nah, bro, these niggas ran up with my money. And I went to get it back. Things got ugly. You got me? Done deal. But it wasn't no strain. I didn't even live there. Like, what? Like, that. just anyways, bro. Just, yo, these guys knew. The district attorney knew too, bro. And she's running around saying I'm killing strangers for fun. That's how sick and twisted these pieces of trash, racist, redneck Saxons are, bro. They're scumbags. They're scum of the earth. 
like with the natives, bro. Stole their land, killed a million, hundred million people of them, and still trying to come and give them another treaty and another story. Like, they're just scumbags, and they'll be scumbags until they die, bro, in hell. They're going to be scumbags in hell with Lucy, bro. Mark my fucking words. When you end up in hell, look around and see how many of these piece of shit motherfuckers you're going to see there. You're going to see all of them. All these fake smile scumbags. You're going to see them in hell where you're going, bro. Watch it. Just look around when you get there and tell me if I'm wrong. But anyways, watch this now. Fucking, um... So, yo, now, months later, I'm on the, the hardest jail in Canada for Wyos. But this was, uh... Tayak, 16 years old to 18 year olds. Phase two. So, there's also 19, 20 years olds in there. And so, lots of, like, you know... But anyways, uh, fucking... It was the most gangster jail in Canada. Whatever the fuck's where the Toronto South is right now. They tore it down. Tayak mimic up. Tayak was a young offender. Anyways, point is... It was, this is months later, bro. It's 23 and 1. It was made for adults, you know, but they had like phase 2 in there, like 16 to 18 years. But 23 and 1, it's a fucking shithole. Anyway, so fucking, yo, bro, months fucking later, months later, I'm sitting in my cell, 23 and 1, nothing to do. And you hear, they come to my cell, the CEOs, and they're like, yo, uh, you have a visit. And I'm like, uh, from who? Because nobody visits me, you know, and they're like, oh, from some. Agents, some agency or some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, yo, let me go see what it is. Like, I'm not doing nothing in my cell anyways. So let me go see who it is and what the fuck it is, right? So I go. They take me to this fucking room. So it's not where the visits are through the glass and the phone. So that's you, like they, in a room where, like, the lawyers come. It's, like, across a desk. You could touch the person. So that's how I'm like, oh, it's obviously a government person or something. Because any visit from anyone else, it's in the glass screen with the glass and the phones, you know? So anyways... Some fucking bitch I never... Some Anglo-Saxon. Some dumb Anglo-Saxon bitch comes through. I've never seen this fucking whore in my life. I don't... I never met her. She doesn't know me. I don't know. I don't know. This fucking whore. This fucking whore goes... So how do you like this place? I'm like, yo, it fucking sucks, bro. What kind of question is that? And she's like, well, Paul... Like, she knows me. Well, Paul... If you don't like places like this, you can't just run around stabbing people for fun. Like, what the fuck? Like, this bitch is talking like it's written in stone. Like, I'm like, yo, where the fuck do you get these stupid fucking things from, bro? And if a nigga's running around stabbing people for fun, what makes you feel so comfortable to sit across from me at a table with no guards around? What if I jump on you and do the same to you, bro? If that's what I do, you stupid bitch. Think about that, you fucking whore. It's like... And she's like, oh, um, she's like, starts looking through, like, she has a file. Starts looking through the file like she's looking for answers in her fucking... Reports of lies, these fucking lying cocksuckers like Officer Park lie. Officer fucking meth head, junkies. These fucking are all junkies. And this nigga's looking through the fucking piles of lies like he's going to find some answers. Now listen, you stupid fuck. Whoever wrote that fucking shit doesn't know me either, you stupid whore. And how the fuck, if I'm running around stabbing strangers for fun, how the fuck do I know how the inside of their fucking house looks, you stupid fuck? How? Because I was in their house fucking a week or two before, you stupid fuck. They're not strangers. They ran off with my fucking money, and I went to get it back, and they got themselves hurt. Why? Because they ran off with my fucking money, you stupid prostitute. Stop fucking reading these fucking lies from other stupid liars like you. Stupid low IQ piece of shit liars like you that never made me don't know nothing. Right lies, and now you're here sitting and repeating these fucking lies, bro. Like, yo, if the niggas running around say, what, what what makes you think he's not going to stab you in your fucking face for being fucking idiot, you stupid whore. And she's look out there uh, looking at the fucking report, like I said, looking for the answers. Like, you know, she's going to find some answers in this fucking shit. I'm like, bro, and the bitch is like, well, well, that's what it says right here. I'm going to give a fuck what it says, you stupid prostitute. Yo, bro. Don't ever, yo, why aren't you, like, if you're trying to find something about someone, bro, I, I heard a million stories about a million people, too, bro. I didn't run up on them and repeat their fucking lies, bro. I'm like, yo, bro, I heard this shit, bro. What's really good, bro? What, what really happened? Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, I heard this shit. Is this true or not, homie? And then I want to see what they say, and then I'll, I'll put my two and two together and make my decision. I'm not going to just, oh, I heard this and that. This, it must be true. Oh, well, it says right there. Oh, it's in the papers. Oh, the papers. Oh, it's in the papers. Like, that means nothing. That means fucking nothing, especially when these motherfuckers are scumbags that told you all to take the kill shots for your health and safety for three years straight. Mm, the case counting case, that was a trillion dollar psyop, you stupid fucks. And these are the same piece of shit losers writing these lies, reading off the fucking screen, telling you fucking stories, bro. And this fucking horse scumbag is, anyways, let me go fuck out of here, you disrespectful prostitute. Get the fuck out of my, yo, CEOs, 
Yo, visit's over. Get this fucking stupid whore out of here and bring me back to my fucking cell, you stupid whore. And she's like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Paul. Yo, know, how the fuck? Are you sorry I'm feeling that way? If you're so fucking sorry, then get me the fuck out of here where 100 niggas trying to kill me for no reason after bitch niggas try to fucking rob me, you stupid prostitute. About you feel sorry while you're fucking repeating these fucking scumbag lies. Because you're a piece of shit. LBC heroes got themselves hurt fucking with the wrong fucking... These niggas take me for a Bieber, bro. And they all start crying and screaming when they get themselves hurt. Anyways, check this out now. So, it's fucking retarded. I wasn't expecting that. I was just boarding myself. 23 and 1. Yo, let me see who it is, you know? Like, next, I got, like, some fucking retarded monkey comes and tells me these fucking stupid stories. So, I'm like, yo, this bitch... Anyways, so, I fucked off. The seals brought me back to my cell now. So, now I'm in the cell now. And I'm thinking about this shit, and I'm thinking like, yo, imagine what kind of retarded, low IQ piece of shit loser you'd have to be to fucking go, go like, yo, bro, these people are outside. I was in jail, like, I had nothing to do, so I went to see, because I had nothing to do. But yo, these people are on road. They have families. They have this and that. And they're going to waste their fucking time and life to go meet a stranger and go and repeat some crazy life. Yo, what if the guy was really psycho that run around killing people for fun? What if, what if he got mad at you and iced you up right there, bro? Are you that stupid? This, you're going to go meet a psycho killer that kills people for fun and going to say, like, you know I mean, I'm, <laughs> that never happened, though. But you know what I mean? But if that was true, though, what makes you so comfortable to go and sit face to face with this guy if that's what he actually does, bro? Maybe he does the same thing to you. Think about it, you stupid fuck. Especially when he's on 23 and 1. With, and you're never going to see the light like that. But that's how stupid these guys are. And, like, I'm like, who the fuck would, like... What would possess a person to go meet a stranger and fucking repeat some lies off a report and tell it to him like it's fucking, he's the, it's the word of God written in stone, bro? Like, for, for what purpose? To tell him that if he wants to not to be in jail, to not stab people for fun, do, 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 because you're so smart, do, 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 you're going to help him with your do, 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 intellect, do, do, do. These guys are fucking losers. And check this out now. So I'm thinking about this. Like, yo, these guys are fucking losers, but These guys are some stupid, small, low IQ piece of trash. And the fucked up thing is, this bitch is in on with the government and stuff. With, with the fucking pigs that know this bitch niggas to run off with my money. So the DA runs around saying I'm killing people for fun. And this bitch is running around trying to question me about it. After their pigs told them, they, and they noticed that we don't believe those niggas. And it, so you understand? So they all know it's a lie, but they're still trying to go play these sick games, bro. Like, yo, these guys are sick fucks, bro. Watch what's going to happen to these sick fucks in court when I go on trial, bro. I'm going to expose all these sick fucks. Because I was only in jail for lies from all these pieces of shit every single last time. They were always fucking wrong. you always fucking been wrong in line, you fucking dirty racist scumbags. I'm tired of your shit. Anyways, watch this now. So I'm in my fucking cell now, and I'm thinking about this stupid, retarded Anglo-Saxon prostitute. Piece of shit, low IQ monkey, prostitute, bro. And I'm there like, yo, you must be a stupid, sick fuck. Yo, if this nigga's, if yo, if a man's really in jail for killing people for fun, it's not a good idea to stand and go in the same fucking room with him with no CEOs. What, yo, who knows what this guy's gonna do to you? Especially you're fucking saying crazy stuff and disrespect him. You understand me, bro? And that's the argument. I'm gonna go and tell him that if he doesn't want to be in jail for life, to, 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 to not stab people for fun. Do, do, do. See, said, where are the fucking dead people I stab for fun, you fuck? Because I've been out for 25 years, you fucking prostitute whore. Anyways, watch this now. So, I'm in my fucking cell now. And I'm thinking about this. And I'm like, yo, these guys are fucking... Bro, these guys are like some fucking stupid two-year-old kids, bro. Remember, like, in elementary school and someone heard some rumor? And then they, they run around and spread the rumor, like, without even checking with you? Exactly like that. But I'm like, bro... These guys, oh, this bitch was in her 40s, bro. These guys are grown men and women in their 40s and 50s doing this. Like the stupid kids in kindergarten and grade one. And they run, yo, they run the government and the system, bro. And, and this is what they do. And I'm like, yo, these guys are fucking stupid, bro. And I'm there like, yo, and I'm thinking, yo, this bitch is really thinking some man's running around. Who am I going to stab today? <laughs> and she thinks... Her good idea is to go and tell the psycho killer not to stab people for fun if he doesn't want to spend his life in jail. And that's her good deed to society. She's going to go and tell the bad guy not to do that. Do, do, do. And I'm there like, yo, these guys are like some fucking two-year-old fucking retarded monkeys, bro. A retarded fucking two-year-old monkey. And they run the government system. And I, I'm there, and it, it sounded like, if you think about it, like a 40, 50-year-old man doing what, like, two-year-old, like... In grade ones and grade two dudes in elementary school, it's like, yo, know, it's pathetically funny. So I'm there thinking about this shit in my mind, you know. I'm sitting on the desk in myself, and I just start laughing because it's kind of funny, bro. I'm like, yo, 
yo, these guys are, yo, I'm like, yo, this bitch is, she has family in this and it takes a day, who knows what, from work or what, to waste hours of her time to go and, like, like, continue these fucking stupid rumors and lies that she heard in a paper, just like a fucking elementary child, elementary school child. And I was there laughing to myself, bro, in my cell, and my cell partner, and he's on his bed, you know, and he just looks at me all worried, like, yo, this guy, this guy lost his mind, because all of a sudden, I just start, I was just there thinking about this, you know, so I'm just quiet on the desk thinking, and next thing you know, I start laughing out loud, and it, and then, the, and then you, you can hear myself laughing, I look, this guy's looking at me, yo, this guy's crazy, he lost his mind, I start laughing even more, because I know he's thinking, yo, this guy probably lost his mind or something, and then I just, I start laughing uncontrollably, bro, and it just, I was like fucking laughing uncontrollably, bro, because this guy's like shook to death, like, oh, he lost his mind and and fuck up. <laughs> and, and I know he's thinking that because I could look at his face. I could tell he's thinking that. And like, yo, bro, shit was fucking hilarious. So I was I was dying of laughter. And after, yo, bro, what are you laughing at? Like he's like scared of me. You know, I'm like, bro, calm the fuck down, bro. And I just calm down, like stop laughing. And I explained him the fucking story of what just happened, bro. I'm like, bro, you know that visit, bro? Some psycho whore just came and trying to tell me if I don't want to spend my life in jail, not to run around stabbing people for fun, bro. And like. You know what I mean? And just, I had to explain him that, you know? And he started laughing too and whatever. But that shit was funny though, bro. That shit was, yo, it wasn't funny. It's like, but yo, this is the mentality of these fucking low IQ piece of trash Anglo-Saxon losers that can't read and write their one and only language when they're fucking born here. And, and that's their language, bro. It's not, oh, they're in Romania, it's their fifth language, tenth language, oh, it's a small mistake. It's their one and only language, bro. Check all the comments on all the videos. These fucks don't know they're yours and they're theirs. Yo, these guys are scumbags. But that's their mentality, and they, they think they're, they're no, well, but that's what it says right here. Doo, doo, doo. It's fucking idiots, yo. Low IQ fucks. But yeah, bro, shit was funny, okay? I was fucking laughing in my fucking cell. A cell partner got scared, bro. He thought I lost my fucking mind. <laughs> but that uh, shit is funny, bro. Imagine you're a fucking adult, and you run around doing stupid shit. I'd be like, yo, bro, listen. Yo, this shit sounds crazy to me, homie. They're saying that you run around stabbing people for fun, homie. Is that true, bro? What do you, you got to say about that? What's your story, homie? Because that sounds crazy to me. Is that what you're doing? And then see what the person says. Oh, yeah, I do do that, motherfucker. I'm a motherfucking gangster. Yeah, yeah. I'm a motherfucking gangster. Yeah. Like, like the vicious gangs, delicious rape victims of game and these fucks up Diddy, bro. Nah, nigga, the hell no, that never happened. Nigga, these bitches, nigga, try to pull a fast one on the little white boy. They didn't know the little white boy's the ice pick killer. And he got done up. You think I'm gonna let these bitch niggas... That was my rent money, bro. You think I'm gonna let some bitch niggas run off with my rent money? The f bro, you couldn't run off with a penny from me, bro, unless I gave it to you. Stupid fucks. But that's who these guys are, bro. That's who these guys are, bro. It's coming down. Guys are going down, homie. And now I'm a Nazi now? You bitches call me a wigger and a nigger and a spick. I'm a Nazi now? Go fuck your piece of shit whore dirty mother. You fucking trash bag. Yo, go to Australia, bro. It's These guys are descendants of whores. Whores and prostitutes. Prostitutes, whores, and thieves and robbers, bro. That's who these fucks are, bro. No disrespect to the few cool Saxon guys, you know? But, bro, scumbag shit. Don't ever fucking repeat some crazy lies from you read in. Yo, nigga, listen to me. Don't ever do that. Especially what if the guy actually really is crazy. And, and like, guys are fucking stupid. Yo, you hear something? You better check with the motherfucker, bro. See, yo, bro, this is what's going on. This is what's going on around. Is this true or not? The fucked up thing is, I don't know how that could be going on around when the fucking pigs, like, yo, we don't believe those niggas, bro. That's what they said. And they're not street guys to talk like me to fucking, you know what I mean? They're, they're just being racist. <laughs> so it's different. Me, I talk like that because I've been in the streets all my life, especially here. The blacks are calling me a nigger. The, the blacks are arguing. Oh, no, he has to be a nigger. Look at him. Look at his body. White boys aren't built like that. You know what I mean? Like, bro, it's not my fault, bro. I got a little nigger out. These guys, my piece of shit whore mother threw the straight kid in jail because her piece of shit, D student, was stealing from her for 20, 30 years, 20 years, and she had to blame me. It's not my fault, bro. You know what I mean? You come to my country, you're going to start speaking like me, too, in Romania. Like, that is, your surroundings going to rub off on you. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. Yo, you guys have a good day, bro. Don't be a piece of shit retard, bro. You hear some shit, but you might want to check it out for yourself and ask the person instead of running around with these stupid fucking crazy shit. You guys are scumbags, bro. Some fucking scumbags. Then peace down, Matima.